Emerald Tablet 10, The Key of Time. List ye, O man, and take of my wisdom. Learn of the deep hidden mysteries of space. Learn of the thought that grew in the abyss, bringing order and harmony in space. Know ye, O man, that all that exists has been only because of the law. Know ye the law, and ye shall be free. Never be bound by the fetters of night. Far through staying spaces have I journeyed into the depth of the abyss of time, learning strange and yet stranger mysteries, until in the end all was revealed. Know ye that mystery is only mystery when it is knowledge unknown to man. When ye have plumbed the heart of all mystery, knowledge and wisdom will surely be thine. Seek ye and learn that time is the secret whereby ye may be free of this space. Long have I, Toth, sought wisdom. I it shall seek to eternity's end, for know I that ever before receiving shall move the goal I seek to attain. Even the lords of the cycles know that not yet have they reached the goal, for with all their wisdom they know the truth ever grows. Once in a past time I spoke to the dweller, asked of the mystery of time and space, asked him the question that searched my being, saying, O Master, what is time? Then he spoke to me, he the Master, Know ye, O Toth, in the beginning there was void and nothingness, a timeless, spaceless nothingness. And into the nothingness came a thought, purposeful, all-pervading, and it filled the void. There existed no matter, only force, a movement, a vortex of vibration of the purposeful thought that filled the void. And I questioned the Master, saying, Was this thought eternal? And answered me the dweller, saying, In the beginning there was eternal thought, and for thought to be eternal, time must exist. So into that all-pervading thought grew the law of time, I time which exists through all space, floating in a smooth, rhythmic movement that is eternally in a state of fixation. Time changes not, but all things change in time. For time is the force that holds events separate, each in its proper place. Time is not in motion, but ye move through time as your consciousness moves from one event to another. I by time ye exist, all in all, an eternal one existence. Know ye that even though in time ye are separate, ye still are one in all times existent. Cease then the voice of the dweller, and I departed, I to ponder on time. For knew I that in these words lay wisdom and a way to explore the mysteries of time. Oft did I ponder the words of the dweller, though sought I to solve the mystery of time. Found I that time moves through strange angles, yet only by curves could I hope to obtain the key that would give me access to the time space. Found I that only by moving upward and yet again by moving to rightward could I be free from the time of this movement. Forth I came from out of my body, moved in the movements and changed me in time. Strange were the sights I saw in my journeys, many of the mysteries that opened to view. I saw I man's beginning, learned from the past that nothing is new. Seek ye, O man, to learn the pathway that leads to the spaces that are formed forth in time. Forget not, O man, with all thy seeking that light is the goal ye shall seek to attain. Search ye ever for light on thy pathway, and ever for thee that goal shall endure. Let not thine heart turn ever to darkness. Light let thine soul be, a sun on the way. Know ye that in the eternal brightness ye shall ever find thy soul hid in the light, never fettered by bondage to darkness, ever it shines forth a sun of the light. I know, though hidden in darkness your soul, a spark of the true flame exists. Be ye one with the greatest of all lights, find at the source the end of thy goal. Light is life, for without the great light nothing can ever exist. Know ye that in all formed matter the heart of light always exists. I even though bound into the darkness inherent light always exists. Once I stood in the halls of Amenti and heard the voice of the lords of Amenti saying in tones that rang through the silence, words of power mighty and potent. Chanted they the song of the cycles, the words that open the path to beyond. I, I saw the great path opened and looked for an instant into the beyond. Saw I the movements of the cycles, vast as the thought of the source could convey. 
knew I then that even infinity is moving on to some unthinkable end, saw I that the cosmos is order, and part of a movement that extends to all space, a part of an order of orders, constantly moving in the harmony of space. Saw I the weaving of cycles like vast circles across the sky. Knew I then that all has been and growing to meet yet another being in a far off grouping of space and of time. Knew I then that in words are powers to open the planes and are hidden from man. I that even in words lies hidden the key that will open above and below. Hark ye now, ma'am, this word I leave with thee. Use it and ye shall find power in its sound. Say ye the word Zin Uru, Z I N U R U, and the power ye shall find. Yet must ye understand that man is of light, and light is of man. List ye, O man, and hear a mystery stranger than all that lies neath the sun. Know ye, O man, in all spaces filled by worlds within worlds, I one within the other, yet separate by law. Once in my search for deep buried wisdom, I open the door that bars them from man. Called I from other planes of beings, one who is fairer than the daughters of man. I, I called her out from the separateness to shine as a light in the world of man. Used I the drum of the serpent, wore I the robe of the purple and gold. Placed on my head I the crown of silver, around me the circle of cinnabar shone. Raised I my arms and cried the invocation that opens the path to the plains beyond, cried to the lords of the signs in their houses. Lords of the two horizons, watchers of the treble gates, stand ye when at the right and when at the left as a star rises to his throne and rules over his sign. I, thou dark prince of Aralu, open the gates of the dim, hidden land and release her whom ye keep in prison. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, dark lords and shining ones, and by their secret names, names which I know and can pronounce, hear ye and obey my will. Lit I then with flame my circle and call her in the space plains beyond. Daughter of light returned from Aralu, seven times and seven times have I passed through the fire, food have I not eaten, water have I not drunk. I call thee from Aralu, from the realm of Urker Shegel, I summon thee, Lady of Light. Then before me rose the dark figures, I the figures of the lords of Aralu. Parted they before me, and forth came the Lady of Light. Free was she now from the lords of the night, free to live in the light of the earth sun, free to live as a child of the light. Hear ye and listen, O my children. Magic is knowledge and only is law. Be not afraid of the power within thee, for it follows law as the stars in the sky. Know ye that to be without knowledge wisdom is magic and not of the law, but know ye that ever ye by your knowledge can approach closer to the place in the sun. List ye my children, follow my teaching. Be ye ever seeker of light, shine in the world of men all around thee, a light on the path that shall shine among men. Follow ye and learn my magic, know that all force is thine if thou wilt. Fear not the path that leads thee to knowledge, but rather shun ye the dark road. Light is thine, O man, for the taking. Cast off the fetters, and thou shalt be free. Know ye that thy soul is living in bondage, fettered by fear that holds ye in thrall. Open thy eyes and see the great sunlight. Be not afraid, for all is thine own. Fear is the lord of dark Aralu. To he who has never faced a darker fear, I know that fear is existence, created by those who are bound by their fear. Shake off thy bondage, O children, and walk in the light of the glorious day. Never turn thy thoughts to the darkness, and surely ye shall be one with the light. Man is only what he believeth. A brother of darkness, or a child of the light, come thou into the light, my children, walk in the pathway that leads to the sun. Hark ye now, and list to the wisdom. Use thou the word I have given unto thee. Use it, and surely thou shalt find power and wisdom and light to walk in the way. Seek ye, and find the key I have given, and ever shalt thou be child of the light. End of Tablet 10 Emerald Tablet 11 The Key to Above and Below Hear ye, and list ye, O children of Kem, 
to the words I give that shall bring ye to the line. Know ye, O men, that I knew your fathers, I your fathers, in a time long ago. Deathless have I been through all the ages, living among ye since your knowledge began. Leading ye upwards to the light of the great soul have I ever striven, drawing ye from out of the darkness of the night. Know ye, O people amongst whom I walk, that I, Toth, have all of the knowledge and all of the wisdom known to man since the ancient days. Keeper have I been of the secrets of the great race, holder of the key that leads into life. Bringer up have I been of ye, O my children, even from the darkness of the ancient of days. List ye now to the words of my wisdom. List ye now to the message I bring. Hear ye now the words I give thee and ye shall be raised from the darkness to light. Far in the past, when first I came to thee, found I thee in caves of rocks, lifted I thee by my power and wisdom, until thou didst shine as men among men. I found I thee without any knowing, only a little were ye raised beyond beasts, fanned I ever the spark of thy consciousness, until at last ye flamed as man. Now shall I speak to thee, Wisdom we gained from the star-born races, wisdom and knowledge far beyond man's. Down to us have descended the masters of wisdom as far beyond us as I am from thee. List ye now when I give ye wisdom, use it and free shalt thou be. Know ye that in the pyramid I build it are the keys that shall show ye the way into life. I draw ye a line from the great image I built to the apex of the pyramid, built as a gateway. Draw ye another opposite in the same angle and direction. Dig ye and find that which I have hidden. There shall ye find the underground entrance to the secrets hidden before ye were men. Tell ye I now the mystery of cycles that move in movements that are strange to the finite, for infinite are they beyond knowledge of man. Know ye that they are nine of the cycles, I, nine above and fourteen below, moving in harmony to the place of joining that shall exist in the future of time. Know ye that the lords of the cycles are units of consciousness sent from the others to unify this with the all. Highest are they of the consciousness of all the cycles working in harmony with the law. Know that they in time will be perfected, having none above and none below, but all one in a perfected infinity, a harmony of all in the oneness of all. Deep neath earth's surface, in the halls of Amenti, sit the seven, the lords of the cycles, I and another, the lord below. Yet know thee that in infinity there is neither above nor below, but ever there is and ever shall be, oneness of all when all, when all is complete. Oft have I stood before the lords of the all, oft at the fount of their wisdom have drunk and have filled both my body and soul with their light. Spake they to me and told me of cycles and the law that gives them the means to exist. I spake to me the Lord of the Nine, saying, O Toth, great are ye among earth's children, but mysteries exist of which ye know not. Ye know that ye came from a space-time below this, and know ye shall travel to a space-time beyond. But little ye know of the mysteries within them, little ye know of the wisdom beyond. Know ye that you as a whole in this consciousness are only a cell in the process of growth. The consciousness below thee is ever expanding in different ways from those known to thee. I, it, though in space-time below thee, is ever growing in ways that are different from those that were part of the ways of thine own. For know that it grows as a result of thy growth, but not in the same way that thou didst grow. The growth that thou had and have in the present have brought into being a cause and effect. No consciousness follows the path of those before it, else all would be repetition in vain. Each consciousness in the cycle that exists and follows its own path to the ultimate goal, each plays its part in the plan of the cosmos. Each plays its part in the ultimate end. The farther the cycle, the greater its knowledge and ability to blend the law of the whole. Know ye that ye in the cycle below us are working the minor parts of the law, while we of the cycle that extends to infinity take of the striving and build greater law. 
Each has its own part to play in the cycle. Each has its work to complete in his way. The cycle below thee is yet not below thee, but only form for me that exists. For know ye that the fountain of wisdom that sends forth the cycle is eternally seeking new powers to gain. Ye know that knowledge is gained only by practice, and wisdom comes forth only from knowledge, and thus are the cycles created by law. Means are they for the gaining of knowledge for the plane of the law that is the source of the all. The cycle below is not truly below, but only different in space and time. The consciousness there is working and testing lesser things than those ye are. And know, just as ye are working on greater, so above ye are those who are also working, as ye are on yet another law. The difference that exists between the cycles is only an ability to work with the law. We, who have been in cycles beyond thee, are those who first came forth from the source and have in the passages through time-space gained ability to use laws and the greater, that they are far beyond the conception of man. Nothing there is that is really below thee, but only a different operation of law. Look thee above or look thee below, the same shall ye find. For all is but part of the oneness that is at the source of the law. The conscious below thee is part thine own, as we are part of thine. Ye as a child had not the knowledge it came to thee when ye became a man. Compare ye the cycles to man in his journey from birth unto death, and see in the cycle below thee the child with the knowledge he has. And see you yourself as the child grown older, advancing in knowledge as time passes on. See ye, we also, the child grown to manhood with the knowledge and wisdom that came with the years. So also, O Toth, are the cycles of consciousness, children in different stages of growth, yet all from the one source, the wisdom, and all to the wisdom returning again. Cease then he from speaking, and sat in the silence that comes to the Lord's. Then again spake he unto me, saying, O Toth, long have we sat in Amenti, guarding the flame of life in the halls. Yet no, we are still part of our cycles with our vision reaching unto them and beyond. I know, we that of all, nothing else matters except the growth we can gain with our soul. Know we that flesh is fleeting, the things men count great are nothing to us, the things we seek are not of the body, but of only the perfected state of the soul. When ye as men can learn and nothing but progress of soul can count in the end, then truly ye are free from all bondage, free to work in a harmony of law. No, O man, ye shed aim at perfection, for only thus can ye attain to the goal. Though ye should know that nothing is perfect, yet it should be thy aim and thy goal. Ceased again the voice of the line, and into my consciousness the words had sunk. Now seek I ever more wisdom, that I may be perfect in law with thee all. Soon go I down to the halls of Amenti to live neath the cold flower of life. Yea, whom I have taught shall never more see me, yet live I forever in the wisdom I taught. All that man is is because of his wisdom. All that he shall be is the result of his cause. List ye, now to my voice, and become greater than common man. Lift thy eyes upward. Let light fill thy being. Be thou ever children of light, only by effort shall ye grow upward to the plane where light is at, all of the all. Be ye the master of all that surrounds thee, never be mastered by the effects of thy life, create then ever more perfect causes, and in time shalt thou be son of the light. Free, let thine soul soar ever upward, free from the bondage and fetters of night, lift thy eyes to the sun and the sky space. For thee, let it be a symbol of life. Know that thou art the greater light, perfect in thy own sphere, when thou art free. Look not ever into the blackness. Lift up thine eyes to the space above. Free let that light flame upward, and shalt thou be a child of the light. End of tablet 11. Emerald Tablet 12 the law of cause and effect, and the key of prophecy. List ye, O man, to the words of my wisdom. List to the voice of Toth the Atlantean.
conquered have I the law of time and space. Knowledge have I gained in the future of time. No I that man in his movement through space-time shall ever be one with the all. Know ye, O man, that all of the future is an open book to him who can read. All effects shall bring forth its causes, as all effects grew from the first cause. Know ye the future is not fixed or stable, but varies as causes bring forth an effect. Look in the cause thou shalt bring into being, and surely thou shalt see that all is effect. So, O man, be sure that the effects that ye bring forth are ever causes of more perfect effects. Know ye the future is never in fixation, but follows man's free will as it moves through the movements of time-space toward the goal where a new time begins. Man can only read the future through the causes that bring the effects. Seek ye within the causation, and surely ye shall find the effects. List ye, O man, when I speak of the future. Speak of the effect that follows the cause. Know ye that man in his journey lightward is ever seeking escape from the night that surrounds him, like the shadows that surround the stars in the sky, and like the stars in the space sky, he too shall shine from the shadows of night. Ever his destiny shall lead him onward until he was one with the light. I, though his way lies midst the shadows, ever before him glows the great light. Dark though the way to be yet till he conquer the shadows that flow around him like night. Far in the future I see man is light-born, free from the darkness that fetters the soul, living in light without the bounds of the darkness to cover the light that is light of their soul. Know ye, O man, before ye attain this, that many of the dark shadows shall fall on your light, striving to quench with the shadows of darkness the light of the soul that strives to be free. Great is the struggle between light and darkness, age old and yet ever new. Yet know in a time, far in the future, light shall be all and darkness shall fall. List ye, O man, to my words of wisdom, prepare and ye shall not bind your light. Man has risen and man has fallen as ever new waves of consciousness flow from the great abyss below us toward the sun of their goal. Yea, my children have risen from a state that was little above the beast, until now all men ye are greatest. Yet before they were others greater than thee. Yet tell I thee as before the others had fallen, so also shall ye come to an end. And upon the land where ye dwell now, barbarians shall dwell and in turn rise to the light. Forgotten shall be the ancient wisdom, yet ever shall lie through hidden from men. I in the land that thou call Kim, races shall rise and races shall fall, forgotten shalt thou be the children of men. Yet thou shalt have moved to a star space beyond this leaving, beyond this place where thou hast dwelt. The soul of man moves ever onward, bound not only by one star, but ever moving to the great goal before him where he is dissolved into the light of the all. Know ye that ye shall ever go onward, moved by the law of cause and effect, until in the end both become one. I, man, after ye have gone, others shall move into the places ye lived. Knowledge and wisdom shall all be forgotten, and only a memory of God shall survive. As I to thee am a God by my knowledge, so ye too shall be gods of the future because of your knowledge far above theirs. Yet know thee that all through the ages man shall have access to law when he will. Ages to come shall see revival of wisdom to those who shall inherit thy place on the star. They shall in turn come into wisdom and learn to banish the darkness by light. Yet greatly must they strive through the ages to bring unto themselves the freedom of light. Then shall they come unto man the great warfare that shall make the earth tremble and shake in its course. I then shall the dark brothers open the warfare between light and the night. When man again shall conquer the ocean and fly in the air on wings like the birds, when he has learned to harness the lightning, then shall the time of warfare begin. Great shall the battle be twixt the forces, great the warfare of darkness and light. Nation shall rise against nation, using the dark forces to shadow the earth. Weapons of forces shall wipe out the earth man until half of the race of men shall be gone. Then shall come forth the sons of the morning, and give their eating to the children of man, saying, 
O men, cease from my striving against thy brother. Only thus can ye come to the light. Cease from my unbelief, O my brother, and follow the path, and know ye are right. Then shall men cease from their striving, brother against brother and father against son. Then shall the ancient home of my people rise from its place beneath the dark ocean waves. Then shall the age of lights be unfolded with all men, seeking the light of the goal. Then shall the brothers of light rule the people, banished shall the darkness of night. I, the children of men, shall progress onward and upward to the great goal. Children of light shall they become. Flame of the flame shall their souls ever be. Knowledge and wisdom shall be man's in the great age, for shall approach the eternal flame, the source of all wisdom, the place of beginning, that is yet one with the end of all things. I, in a time that is yet unborn, all shall be one, and one shall be all. Man, a perfect flame of his cosmos, shall move forward to the place in the stars. I shall move even from out of this space-time into another beyond the stars. Long have ye listened to me, O my children, long have ye listened to the wisdom of Toth. Now I depart from ye into darkness, now go I to the halls of Amenti, there to dwell in the future when light shall come again to man. Yet know ye, my spirit shall ever be with thee, guiding thy feet in the pathway of light. Guard ye the secrets I leave with thee, and surely my spirit will guard thee through life. Keep thine eyes ever on the pathway to wisdom. Keep the light as thy goal evermore. Fetter not thy soul in bondage of darkness. Free let it wing in its flight to the stars. Now I depart thee to dwell in Amenti. Be thou my children in this life and the next. The time will come when ye too shall be deathless, living from age to age a light among men. Guard ye the entrance to the halls of Amenti. Guard ye the secrets I have hidden among them. Let not the wisdom be cast to barbarians, secret shall thou keep it to those who seek light. Now depart I, receive thou my blessing, take thou my way and follow the light. Blend thou thy soul in the great essence, one with the great light, light thy consciousness be. Call thou on me when thou dost need me, use my name three times in a row. Chiquetit, Arlich, Volmolitz, End of Tablet 12